I'll be over. Somewhere. I'll be back in time to take you to the bus. Mr. Russell? Yeah? Can I look at the animals while you're going? Yeah, yeah, that'll be all right. Thanks. Goodbye. Sweetheart. Say, Dutch, why don't you let me alone? Why don't you give me a break? I'm hardly getting by with that little place of mine as it is. And, and if you keep on bleeding me, I'll, well, I'll lose that too. Hey, Dutch, since when does a nine go on to Jack? Oh, I'm just practicing. Dutch, I'm not going to give you another dime. You hear that, Whitey? You've been ducking the cops too long to be brave now. It's just your tough luck that I happen to know all about you. Well, you can do what you want. I'm through being afraid of you. If you think I... Ah, shut up! Hmm. I didn't know it was loaded. You better beat it over to the police station. You know, all shootings has got to be reported to the cops. Of course, they may not believe your name is Russell. They may even think you're Phil Ormsby. Wanted in Kansas for taking a lot of buns that didn't belong to him. Listen, Dutch. I need 200 bucks. Take an aspirin and think it over. Some to your baby. You hungry? There you are. There you are. You like that? Good up. Mr. Russell! Gee, Mr. Russell, I've been having the best time. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? <gasps> oh, I'll call a doctor. No. But you're hurt. <gasps> Get away from that phone. But look at your hand. Never mind. I don't need a doctor. I don't need anybody. Here, yeah, take this money. Get out of here and catch that bus. More coffee? No, thanks, honey. Uncle John. Yeah? What are we going to do today? Well, that's up to you, Judy. Sunday's your day, you know. Let me see. Wait a minute. That's Mary, my friend from the Sunshine Home. You know, the one I told you about. Uh-huh. Did you know she was living here? No! Her father's Gerald Dexter, the district attorney. Lucky kid to find him that way. He's lucky, too. You want to see her. She's a regular angel. Well, he must be a swell egg. He's giving a party today to the kids from the Sunshine Home. Brought them all out here in buses. Now, you don't need to worry. We're going to have a party of our own this afternoon. Where would you like to go? Gee. I'd love to see the kids and Mary. Kind of miss them, don't you? Oh, I like it here all right. 
But I was just thinking, if I could only see them. You'd be taking a chance. Oh, they wouldn't see me. I'd hide someplace and watch. Oh, well, I guess it's no use. <laughs> Hey, what do you mean it's no use? Young lady, go get your hat and coat. Then, then we're going to Mary's? Going? Why, honey, we're practically there. Oh, Uncle John. But the dishes. Now, never mind the dishes. Come on, hurry up. Oh, I will. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, you got company. What's your name? Judy. This is, uh... Mr. Miller, a friend of mine. Yes, an old friend. Oh, pleased to meet you, sir. You better get ready, Judy. All right, Uncle John. We were just going out. That's all right. Go right ahead. I'll make myself at home till you get back. What are you doing here, Dutch? Say, that's not a nice way to talk to a guest. Come on, what are you getting at? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Whitey left for the coast, and I'm on my own now. So I'm moving in here. We're going to be partners. Oh, no, we're not, Dutch. I'm all ready, Uncle John. I'm sorry, honey. I'm, I'm afraid we won't be able to go. You see, Mr. Miller here is on some very important business. Go right ahead. I'll wait right here till you come back. Well, I don't know. I, uh... I can go by myself, Uncle John. Sure she can. She's a big girl. Going visiting, huh? Yes, I'm going to visit Oh, oh right wait a minute, then I'll, uh, I'll write the address for you. There you are. You take the number three bus at the corner and tell the conductor to let you off at Euclid Drive. Thanks, Uncle John. I'll find it all right. Judy, be careful. Don't worry, I will. Bye, Mr. Miller. Bye, Uncle John. So long. Say, you know, I think I'm going to like it here. Now we're going to have a couple of 
somersaults. Here's a dog that's made of rubber. Watch him bounce. You drop him. Any way you drop him, see him bounce. Now here's a nice trick, the last trick, children. Watch this dog. He's going to chip. He's going to turn the back somersault over the big fella's back. Now watch him. Pretty. Now, hey! Well, I'm going to... said when you sent me away, did you? Oh, of course I didn't. Come on in, the whole gang's here. Oh, no, not now. I can hardly believe that you're really here. Where have you been all this time? They told my daddy you ran away. Did you, Judy? Yes, I did. Where have you been living? Oh, the nicest man's been taking care of me. But you mustn't tell anybody you saw me here. Why not? Cause they'd send me to the reform school. No, they won't. I won't let them. My daddy won't let them. Shh. They might hear you. Mary. <gasps> Mary. I'd better be going. Oh, don't go, Judy, please. But I'll come back. When? Oh, pretty soon. I've got to be careful. Mary. Come tomorrow night. My daddy's going out of town and nobody had seen you. Well, all right, if I can. Sure you can. I'll go up to my room right after dinner. It's up there. I'll be watching through my window and the door will be unlocked for you. Mary! Promise me you'll come. Well, all right. Cross your heart. Mary! Oh, Mary! Bye-bye. Well, why did you have to pick on this place for a hideout? Because the cops had never looked for anything hot in this menagerie. Well, I could steal the gold out of the mayor's teeth and they'd never spot me here. Well, I ain't taking any chances. What do you got to be worried about? They haven't found you yet. I'm not thinking about myself anymore. I'm worried about that kid. Oh, nothing is going to happen to her. I'll see to that. She thinks I'm all right. You better not do anything to change your mind, or I'm going to... Uncle John! Hello, Uncle John. I had the swellest time. You ought to see the house Mary lives in. It must have cost a jillion dollars. It's like a regular palace. They must be awful rich. All the kids were there, and they gave them a show, and they had cake, ice cream, and everything. Oh, hello, Mr. Miller. I didn't know you were still here. Oh, you're going to see a lot of me from now on. Your Uncle John just made me his partner. Oh, that's fine. Well, I found the place without any trouble at all. It's the prettiest place in the whole block. Where is this place, Judy? It's out on Euclid Drive. Later, Judy. Uh, go hang up your coat. Oh, all right, Uncle John. Oh, Uncle John. There's just one thing I want to ask you. What is it, honey? Will you take me over there tomorrow night? May's father is going to be away, and she wants to sneak me up to her room and show me all her things. Oh, please, Uncle John. I promised her I'd be there. Oh, go on, John. Be a good guy. Take her over to Mary's. Well, we'll see. Let's have dinner now. Oh, boy, I'm starved. Listen, Dutch. If what that kid just said gave you an idea that you're going to... Yeah. I'm going to stay for dinner. Well, dear, I won't be back until tomorrow morning. And while I'm away, don't forget... I know, Daddy. Drink my milk, don't ride my bicycle on the street, and practice my piano lessons. 